Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of the daily mass. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Boniface, uh, bishop and martyr. Let's take a moment now to prepare our minds and hearts to enter into this uh, celebration of the mass. And our opening hymn is Gather Your People. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, on this memorial of Saint Boniface, we ask for his prayers and intercession. And as we prepare to celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for his mercy, his pardon, and his peace. You are the Son of God. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You place your enemies as your footstool, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. You are seated at the Father's right hand, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things, the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus 
will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, great peace, peace have they who love, love your law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, Lord, great peace have they who love, love your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. For instance, persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David called himself, called him Lord, Excuse me, David himself called him Lord. So how can he, his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's gospel, the scribes encounter a theological puzzle. They know that the Messiah will be David's son within his lineage. What they can't figure out 
is how David's son can also be his Messiah. He's his son. How can he be his, his Lord at the same time? Well, later, theological reflection gives us the answer. Jesus is David's son because Jesus is born of the Virgin Mary. His dad is Joseph, who comes within the lineage of David. And so Jesus, in his humanity, is David's son. At the same time, Jesus is the only begotten Son of God, to whom all people owe their worship and reverence. And so therefore, Jesus is David's Lord, both his Son and his Lord at the same time. This has uh, practical ramifications for us today. In these days when we live in uncertainty and instability in so many parts of our nation and so many parts of our world. The only certainty, the only stability that we have is to profess Jesus as Lord, to profess Him as Lord of our lives, of our families, of our work, of our finances, of our nation and of our world. St. Boniface, the bishop and also the martyr that we celebrate today, professed Jesus as Lord to the point of giving up his life for him. So today we ask for his intercession. We take a moment of silence now to ask the Lord to be the Lord of every aspect of our lives. St. Boniface, pray, pray for us. us. It is our faith in Jesus, the Christ of God, which unites us all members of this community. In his name, let us bring our intentions before the Father. Our response this morning is, Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. That church leaders may be zealous in proclaiming the truth of the divinity of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. The Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. That unity, peace, harmony may become a reality, especially in places where people suffer discrimination on account of race, gender, class, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. The Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us that young people may recognize the voice of Christ, calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. We pray for the repose of the souls of Santiago and Piedad Gutierrez in this Mass. We also offer the intentions that we have received for Joseph Jojo Vasco on his birthday also for Carmen Mugo on her birthday, for the healing of Menji Martinez Guevara, for the intentions of Mercedes Garcia, 
en Jorge, en Claudia, for the healing of Rogelio, Luis, and for the eternal repose of the souls of Gary McFarland, Luigi Narciso, and Loret Loreto Versosa, and Carmen Dinglasa. And in a moment of silence, we offer to the Lord the intentions that we carry within our own hearts and the intentions we placed in our Ark of Prayer chest. We pray to the Lord. Father of our Lord Jesus, hear us. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we acknowledge you as our only Lord. Keep us under your care and grant the prayers we have made. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. One bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abaut, plenis unceli et terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, osana.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all their faithful people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, Saint Boniface, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. For all those joining us in prayer at home, we will pray together now our prayer for spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are present, present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since, Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just as Mary made Jesus the Lord of her life, we ask her to help us do the same. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking a ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And our closing hymn is, I Has Not Seen. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us of the mind of Jesus. of the Holy Mass, and we'd like to invite you to join us again tonight for our evening of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at uh, 7 p.m. Also tomorrow we will be continuing with our uh, confessions beginning at 9 a.m. and ending at 10.30 a.m. So for an hour and a half tomorrow we will be having confessions uh, under the pavilion. So we look forward to seeing you again both tonight and also tomorrow for our confessions. May God bless you.